Hi, I'm James, and in this video we're taking a look at Grand Theft Auto V running on AMD Ryzen 5 4500U and the Intel Core i5 1135G7 with Iris XE graphics. And for this video we're running the game side by side on the two systems, both at 1080p and low detail settings, so the same across both systems, and running through the four scenes that make up the benchmark, we can see that on the of the two, you do get occasions where the Iris XE graphics is outperforming the Radeon graphics, um, but in general, the Ryzen 5 is producing slightly higher frame rates, and through the entirety of this fourth scene, where we follow the fighter jet and then go through on the ground scene, it averages around 10 frames per second or almost oh, a bit more than 20 frames per second higher overall average frame rates than the Intel chip. Uh, this is mostly borne out in the ground section. Um, and this is despite the fact that the Intel chip has the advantage of more uh, memory in total, although that might not be making a huge difference in this test overall. So Intel are definitely improving with the Iris XE graphics. It will be interesting to see with future game tests um, whether the drivers are also developing with compatibility improving. Obviously Grand Theft Auto V is a very big game and has generally worked reasonably well on Intel graphics in terms of compatibility. It's still got some way to go to catch AMD overall. It's possible the 96EU i7 would be outperforming the Ryzen 5 4500U here, but then there are also higher performance uh, Ryzen 7 chips such as the 4800U. So while it's certainly good to see the development from Intel's side on this, there's still the potential there's some way to go on it overall. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do let me know in the comments what you would like to see me testing and particularly comparing. And yeah, Give this video a like if it's been helpful and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future. Thanks for watching.